All right, thought I'd do a quick video here, um, try this out, see if this is going to work with this camera. But I um, mentioned this earlier in my previous video on the overview, the mini mill conversion. I intend to use this. This is a cover to the 12 by 12 box. Um, pretty much a off the shelf deal. Um, wanting to use the 7 inch touch screen from Adafruit. Um, there's a lot of versions. This is that's where I got this one. Uses the Kippa hat to go straight on to the pin header for the uh, Raspberry Pi 3 USB output for touchscreen ribbon connects right there so right now my plan is to mount this screen to the front of this panel and pretty much somewhere right in there I think is where I'm going to go with it um, could be offset my center I haven't decided 100% on that yet but the first thing is how do I stick it there with some kind of a nice frame, keeps it protected. Um, lots of ways to do it. The way I ended up going with um, was phone core, and did that because I saw on a, another channel a guy uses a lot of foam core in projects. You know, you get the paper, you get a different thicknesses. This happens to turn out that the piece that I have is the exact same thickness as my screen, so that worked out pretty well. So what I did to do this project, to make a frame for it, was took a piece of foam core, um, cut it out, and going to end up using two pieces. So the first piece is the cover. So I cut out a frame with an opening that is exactly the right size for the screen, the viewing area of the screen. You don't end up actually seeing everything. You know, there's still this little edge around here that you use dead space on the screen itself. So cut out an interior that you can see what with that and what I did once I got it all lined up actually had it all connected so I could see the screen got it all lined up very carefully flipped it over laid it down flat and then took strips of a morphone core and glued them around the edges and let that dry just to hold it in place so that way it was there was overlap all the way around which was fine um, then I ended up with this foam core frame that the screen will fit into I can see it it'll hold it um, and that way I've got something to attach it to but then to attach it to the actual frame itself or the, the box cover I thought you know the way I want to do this I think is I'm going to do a frame which is this is the current status I'll get into more in that in a second um, but I don't want to do the whole Raspberry Pi everything on the outside so what I'm going to end up doing is taking where this ribbon is and this once I decide where this frame is going to sit on this box, I'm going to cut a slit um, in the box big enough to run the ribbon through and then on the back side of the box I can actually take and use the standoff holes in the hat and put standoffs and mount this inside somewhere up here where the ribbon will theoretically come through right about there plug into the hat and then I've got something that I can actually mount the Raspberry Pi up against and then the Raspberry Pi will be sitting on the front of the box you flip it over you'll have the touch screen so everything Pi related will be attached to the cover which that's going to be if you take things apart that's going to be the thing that needs to stay together um, is that and it'll be pretty much the only thing going from here to the controller side will be one USB cable so I think that's going to be the best approach that I've got come up with so far on so far on this so as far as the frame itself did the foam core but then I went with 1024 T nuts um, these are other idea that I had were coupling nuts um, try to glue those in there but I ended up going with a an off the shelf this is actually quarter inch from a, for another job a uh, little project I've got but T nut and that's what this thing looks like and it's threaded you can run the 1024 in there and I took my frame which is this is what it looks like now and I actually went in from the front side figured out where these needed to go cut a hole clear through the foam core for the shaft of the t-nut put this all the way in trimmed around it so that it was a good clean flush fit with the top of the foam core so that this thing will sit in the frame about like that and it the 1024 nut sits a little flush a little more flush with the foam core um, but did that and then went over the top of it put a little piece of tape over the back end so it wouldn't go anywhere and then epoxied it in and 
in order to give this thing the strength that it's going to need, which right now it's pretty pretty stout, um, I used a mix of epoxy and fiberglass. Um, just went over to you know general overlay of fiberglass, fiberglass cloth, nothing special, stuff you can pick up at the uh, automotive or Harbor Freight. Um, I think has got it. You can pick it up at Lowe's, but just put it over that, glued it down with the epoxy, and let it cure. And now I've got a very good rigid hard frame. Um, on the back side, um, do this, did the same thing um, all the way around, and that's pretty much it. So now I've got 1024 threaded nuts that will go through. And once I get this, I use these as standoffs. So as I, when I put this down on my final layer for a finish, I can use these as um, standoffs, keep it up off there, and then basically brushed and poured on epoxy over the whole thing. No thinner or no thickeners, no additives, anything, just to create a good, clean, smooth surface layer um, to kind of fill in the little voids that you'll get sometimes. And I, I've done that before. Did that again. It worked out really well. Um, need to do a little cleanup on the back where I got some beading, but not bad. I'll go through. I'm going to clean that up, and then as a seal for that, to create a little bit of a buffer between this and the plate, um, I'm going to use this um, foam sheet. I don't know. That's maybe sixteenth, uh, three thirty seconds thick or so. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to put my frame on one. This is an adhesive back, so I'll be able to put this on there, cut out the frame, um, peel the adhesive back off of it, stick it to the back of this, and then go through and trim out where my uh, screen needs to fit. And then that'll give me a seal around that edge where this will be able to sit, provide a little bit of cushioning. I think that's going to work. Um, we're going to find out in uh, future videos you'll get to see as well.